Hello and welcome to another Stack Team App Help video. In this video, we'll show you how to bulk import events or schedules into your app. This feature is used to import multiple practice sessions or matches across individual teams or multiple teams. Once you've watched this video, we would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the alerts button so you get notified when we upload new videos. Importing events and schedules can only be done using the website dashboard, which you can access at stackteamapp.com. First, we'll start with showcasing events, which can be used as a standalone feature. Once in your admin dashboard, under button management, click manage next to the events feature. In the next screen, you'll see three dots in the top right corner. Click here and select the import button. In the bulk import page, click on the blue blank CSV button and download the blank CSV template to your computer, then open the file. Upon opening, you'll notice an example for the event on how the format of the data needs to be entered. For more information on notes on this, click on the more information button on the import page. Dates must be entered in the following format, year, month, day, exactly as you see it on the page. Also note that the display of dates can be impacted by default formatting by the application used when opening the file. We can't control this. The start time and end time must be in 24 hour format and have both times included in each column. The description requires some form of data to be entered. Access groups will determine who will see this specific event and separate multiple access groups with comma separation. To use RSVP, comment or attendance tracking features, you must enter true or false in their values. If you leave the field blank, then it will enter the system with a false value. Lastly, once you've entered all of your information, don't forget to remove the example event and don't leave a space between the heading and the first event listed. Once you have completed your CSV file with all the event information, navigate back to the import page and upload the file. Select all rows and hit save. Once completed correctly, the events will show up in the events page. Now we'll show you how to do it using the schedules feature. When using the schedules, it must be set up in conjunction with the teams feature. For more information on how to create teams, click on the link in this video at the top. Once you have created your teams and the manual schedule option has been switched on, you have the ability to import your schedule by individual teams, or you can do it en masse across all teams. To access the schedules feature in the admin dashboard under button management, click manage next to the schedules feature. If you would like to enter the schedule for multiple teams, from the schedules page, click the all entries button. Then on the next page, click the three dots at the top right, then choose import. When in the bulk import page, click on the blank CSV button to download the template to your computer. The only difference to this template from the events feature to the schedules is in column B, which is the team name. This is where you enter the team name of the team for which these schedules are associated with. Fill in the details as per the instructions. Save it to your computer, then go back to the bulk import screen, upload the file, select all rows and click save. Once completed correctly, you should see all these schedules now on the schedules page. If you'd like to bulk import schedules for a specific team, Go back to the Schedules feature, click on the team, select the three dots and follow the same steps as before. But please note that the spreadsheet will not have the team name listed in column B as the system knows which team you're importing for. Thanks for watching another Stack Team App Help video. As always, if you have any questions about the importing events or schedules feature or any others, please contact us via stackteamapp.com and we'll be glad to assist you.